All right, what up, guys? As you can see, we're playing CS Stars today. I've been dying to play this game since this came out. I've been very tied up with Zelda this year. That's been my game. Uh, that game, phenomenal. Phenomenal game. This one, though, oof, I've been uh, so excited. I'm so glad to be playing this one right now. So glad to be sharing this one on here. All right, we're going to get right into it. Mind my voice, a little scratchy. Sea of Stars has two main characters. Select the one who will lead the party. This can be changed later and does not affect the story. A monk, Valerie, a monk born on the winter solstice, walks the path of the guardian goddess Luana. Zale, a blade dancer born on the summer solstice, walks the path of the guardian go god Solon. I don't understand the, the point of giving you to choose them, but um, I guess it's a little different. <laughs> I we'll see how it's funny though you'd think there'd be some kind of difference though when you select the select character but whatevs let's get into how much I do a little bit of voices for each character the best I best I can do welcome to the great archives adventure I suppose curiosity brought you here an important trait to be sure hmm I am the Archimist, an immortal versed in the ways of alchemy. <laughs> but perhaps you knew that already. After spending millennia cataloging the many events of countless timelines, I decided to return here to mull over everything I had seen. In my musings about the stories that fill these books and scrolls, I had a recent epiphany. It seems that my haste I may have overlooked the very thing I was hoping to find. As such, there is one special story I wish to revisit, one deserving of a witness. And should the mists of time allow a slight alteration, I believe the ray of hope that was once offered may yet bloom. I'm really loving these 2D pixel games. So walk with me tonight, and we will explore a tale of high adventure, of magic, and deceit of friendship and wonder but mostly a tale of heroism one that i believe will offer valuable insight in the search for a re resolution to the theros of the flesh mancer now i remain a bit lost and miss all these timelines and all their subtle variations but i know just the one to make for a perfect starting point let us see what we find in there Ah, yes. Our story begins in a world visited by the Fleshmancer generations prior, causing much turmoil and leaving a mark that has yet to be fully cleansed. Somewhere on Evermist Island, two brave children of the Solstice are on their way to meet with an immortal spirit. In order to become fully fledged Solstice warriors, they will need to learn how to use magic without using magic. We made it to the mountain trail. So far, so good. So the Elder Mist lives somewhere here, huh? Do you think it's just another test? Could be, but it sure beats sitting at the academy. And sewing. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure glad that's over with. Apply yourselves for the will you weave. It shall be your sole defense in times of the greatest need. While the lessons taught here may appear to be lost on you, something deep inside is compelled to learn. <laughs> hey, the sun will be setting soon. We should prepare to set up camp. Let's split up and search for a good spot. Oh man, the music's great. Time for some scouting. Oh, I'm coming through. Oh man, I see I love that. I love how it doesn't go into a cutscene. Alright, so if there's one thing about this game that you're gonna learn is that I'm not the greatest of these games. And I'm not gonna claim to be. So I will see and miss things. <laughs> I did some damage. Do I got any skills? Nah, I don't am Alright, so attack. Yeah, I love this. 
Man, the fighting style is so good. Bird games wasn't kidding. These feel easier to fight already. Let's see where this leads. Valerie's got that side covered. I should head to the right. All right, so we can climb up. All right, I'm playing keyboard. I'm keyboard in this game, so it's gonna be very interesting to see. Oh, all right, all right, all right. So you can see the the enemies are about to fight. Oh, look at that thing. Can I go over there? No. Oh man, like I really can't get how excited I am about this game. All right, can, how do I get over there? Again. Oh, good looking. Oh. So that red thing is how much? Oh, six. A18. Ah, tough one, huh? Let's try this. All right, so now it's going to show us how to do our so sunball. All right, all right, all right. So we hold it. Yo. Oh, my. That is so dope. Let's see, I don't found anything. Just a dead end. How about you? Nothing of note, but the way the top is definitely through here. The sun is setting. Come over. I'll get a fire going. I'll be right there. Can't wait for more tomato clubs. So I'm wondering if, if you play as her right now, you'd probably see the left side, you think? Or would it have switch roles? Press space unroll rope ladders. All right, sweet. Yeah, okay. I've done it. So how do I, how do I get to her? Oh, is she down here? Was like a save point? The engraving has worn out, but it definitely mentions the right of passage for children of the solstice, the elder mist. Oh, I have to go this way, I think. I'm pretty sure it'll tell us, but I don't know if there's like something we should be looking for. If there's like items on the ground. That sludge stamp, I think it's pretty cool looking though. Look at this. Oh, that would have. Oh, yeah, those would definitely hurt. You know, sometimes like eat simple is just better, you know. And I, I feel like that's what this game does. It's just like just that alone right there is just so crazy. Like, imagine like Pokemon like this, it would be nuts. All right. I love this move right here. And we just gotta hold for power, all right. That just looks so sick, it's like Dragon Ball-esque. That's what it reminds me of. All right, let's see. I've heard such good things about this game. Like, if it wasn't, I think if it wasn't for Baldur's Gate 3, this game definitely top up there for game of the year. I don't think Zelda was ever going to win that game, but just because what they added from the base of the game wasn't a whole bunch, but that game, oh, Zelda's crazy. All right, how do I get over there? Come on. All right, there we go. Yo. I'm about to fight this guy again. How do I fight him? Oh, he's probably going to cut me off. What up, friend? Huh. <laughs> but it doesn't beat the face you made the first time you tried smashing that sunball. Oh, I can still hear the headmaster gloating. As I said, whether it be by paying attention in class or by recklessly attempting to hit a projectile with your open palm, you will learn the first rule of solar magic. To be fair, you did learn. Oh yeah, that one only took it once. You ever miss those years? Before training, just being kids, always daydreaming and getting in trouble? And making mistakes? I'm sorry, Valerie, I didn't mean. It's okay, I understand why we wouldn't want to join us after what happened. It's just. 
I wish he had said goodbye, you know? After 10 years of not seeing his face, just to know that he's all right. And that we're still friends. Why did we have to get ahead of ourselves anyway? Oh, girl. My weapon will be something that hits really hard. And I'll pick a fast one. Will be unstoppable. Imagine all the wonders we'll find after we leave Evermist Island. I want to see the sleeper. What's that? You've never heard of the sleeper? Stories say it's a giant serpent. It's been sleeping curled up around a mountain since even before there were traveling historians to record it. No way. It sure is. And it's super dangerous too. But don't worry, you can't wake up. Why not? Apparently there's holes in the mountain and the wind blows through them and that plays a melody that keeps it asleep. Whoa. I want to see it too. It's the bell, Elena. Burgoves are back. Quick, maybe we can catch them before they go to the academy. All right, playing as kids, that's pretty sick. Is that a safe one? All right, let's see, let's see what this way brings. Let's come up here. Have you guys played this game yet? If so, leave a comment below. And don't forget to like. It helps out the channel a lot. Let me know how you guys feel about this game. What does this guy have to say? Hey there, younglings. Are you still playing in that little cave down below? Uh, as I have to say. Do you have anything to offer? No. These crops are our main source of food. It's hard work, but I'm reminded every day when we all eat together that the effort is well worth it. Alright, where am I? Okay, good. Hey, wait. Whoa. I wasn't expecting all this. Damn. Nice. That was pretty nice looking little cutscene. There you are. Playing in your secret hideout again. We were training. I think I can use magic now. Is that so? Let's see it then. Wow. Come closer, Zale. Open your palm and concentrate. What about you, Barry? Have you been training too? Every day, I bet I'm stronger than you now. Ha! Huh. I'm sure you are. Come here, then. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, easy now. I can't report on the headmaster if he's knocking me out. That was awesome, Zell. You did it. Solstice Warriors. If you are done with your babysitting duties, I would hear your report. Right away, Headmaster. Can we go too? Believe me, once you enter the Zenith Academy, you'll wish you hadn't. Let's go, Burgov. right want to go to the forbidden cavern again we tried already can't open it yeah the last time we decided maybe the full moon could make the rune more sensitive i'm sure it'll work and maureen will be so impressed he'll take you two for trading right away and then we'll finally be allowed to leave this island but what if he gets mad and delays our trading instead nah no way well we can go worry about that after i open it 
I mean, if I open it. All right, let's go. Moon Cradle. So far, loving the map. Just the colors, so nice. Remember, young ones, the Celestial Willow was a gift from the Great Eagle. Always treat it with respect. Seeing if there's anything around here. So far, there's been no drops of any sort to pick up. But maybe that's just because it's like tutorial, introduction to the game. But I can imagine that something bad's gonna happen right now when we get to that part. Time to stop for a snack. Oh, Garl. What? I'm not hungry. Yeah, we just left a few minutes ago. Look, it's not a real adventure if you don't eat a snack on the road. Plus, I made something special for the occasion. Here. That's a big sandwich. Wow, that's really good. Yeah, no kidding. Glad you like it. It's the jam I use for a bit of sat from the Celestial Widow. You could get in trouble for that. Only if you tell. Yeah. All right, how do I do this? Maybe like Carolina showed me. Try opening your palm and concentrating. You got this, Valerie. I did it. I finally did it. So what now? The headmaster must have heard the bell ring. Do we just wait for him to show up? Might as well enter it. Can be our first adventure. Yeah, and then the headmaster will know we're not afraid. This is exciting. Let's go. And we're gonna find out why it's forbidden right now. There's monsters over here. Let's hide. I thought Evermiss Island was safe. I guess that's only true from the Moon Cradle. We should go back. They look dangerous. Yeah, good call. Oh, yep, yeah, this is what happens. Watch out, there's another one. Oh, this is bad. We're surrounded. Maybe try to use the powers. We're not ready for this. I, I don't know. Just try. Okay, let me focus. Watch out. It's wearing something. Come on. Come on. Zeo, watch out. Ah! No, Carl. My eye. It really hurts. Ah, I can't see. There's no escape. It's about to attack again. So it was you. As resourceful as you are reckless, I see. Headmaster, girl needs your help. Feels better. Like anyone born in Moon Cradle, a regular kid, what Garl needs is not to concern himself with the affairs of the Solstice Warriors. I'm really sorry, Headmaster. It was all my idea. Hey. Be thankful that the only cause of this lesson was an eye, young lad. As for the two of you, if you are so eager to receive training, I shall oblige. Follow me. Make sure to treat that wound and sue the poor kid. 
He's not the complaining type, but if the pain seems to return, please send for me. Understood, Headmaster. You will not see a friend for a very long time. If you have any parting words, speak them now. I... Can he come and stay with us? How long is very long? Like a week? Ah, the eagerness of youth. It takes years to properly train Solstice warriors. Years? No way. But... Your friends have much to learn. I would suggest you use that time to reflect upon what happened today. With any luck, it'll help you forget any ideas of getting involved with a burden that is not yours to bear. Guys, don't forget about me. Never. We'll train really hard, maybe it won't take too long. Zenith Academy. In this ancient place of knowledge, you will learn everything you need to know in order to become the true Solstice Warriors. We've been waiting for this for so long. When do we start? Tomorrow, though I believe a proper introduction is in order. Careful now. you welcome to the classroom in the sky whoa it's beautiful i'm feeling a weird resonance like when i opened the forbidden cavern good on you for noticing that getting closer to the stars helps new recruits get acquainted with their innate magic it shows great promise that you were able to feel before in zail too from what erlina told me Oh, it was just a small burst. They have no idea how much potential they have. It is probably for the best. Now, in the many years you will spend at Zenith Academy, you will learn about the duties incumbent upon Solstice Warriors, of the magic you are destined to wield, and the evils it meant to cleanse. We'll learn how to fight too, right? Naturally, you will spend your days training and studying, but most importantly, sewing. Sewing? That sounds boring. Oh, I can assure you that it is. A mandatory task nonetheless. All who would join our order begun by weaving their will into chanted piece of fabric, the staple of a solstice warrior. It is their most prized possession, guaranteeing light in the darkest places, in a measure of the protection against the minions of the Fleshmancer. But first, you must learn of your duties, train so you cannot feel your limbs, and then train some more. Once both your body and your mind are ripe with potential, you will create a magic piece of fabric worthy of the very stars. You will then be sent out beyond the Forbidden Cavern to meet with the Elder Mist, for it alone may officially grant the title of Solstice Warrior. Sewing. I understand that is not what you were hoping for, but it is what it is required of you for the time being. Years of sewing. That will be all for today. That's all they got out of it. <laughs> it's, it's just sewing. You will be spending a lot of time in these halls. So you should make yourselves at home. To your left is a training room. You want to go there first thing in the morning. Just above is the way to my chambers. It is off limits, of course. And to your right 
are the dormitories. Just make sure you pick a bed aligned with your innate magic. Feel free to look around, then go to sleep when you are ready. Good night. I wonder how long you play as the kids. This is pretty crazy. I, I played the demo to this game and I figured the demo would just be the beginning of the game, but no. The demo, I think, was just pure, like, here's just, like, how to do battling and everything. It was, it was, it was different. I didn't expect this. I remember when Erlina and Burgobs were at the age, they wouldn't stop running. Ah, uh, I feel old now. So do I. All right, so this is where we go to the dormitories. We're not going to go there yet. We're not going to go talk to him because he just talked our ears off. So many sewings. So much pain. Nobody understands the pain. What was, your, what was your favorite game of 2023? Since we are coming to a close, 2024 is upon us, which brings Pokemon should be having an announcement soon for their for this year. Because I don't think anything's lined up for coming out. Oh, there you are. Maureen finally decided that you were ready. So I guess this is where we battle. A rack filled with wooden training weapons. A rack filled with chips. All right. Yeah, uh, so I'm wondering if Black and White, the remake, is going to come out this year. It's very interesting because the Switch 2 is inevitable at this point. Eventually, it's going to be brought up. So I don't think I don't think it'll be released in 24, but I do think it'll be like a preview of it. Maybe just like a little trailer or maybe just like a presentation of like what it's going to look like or be. But I think it's going to be... Um, It'll be interesting to see what they do with that. So I don't want to talk to him anymore. No. And so far, there's been like nothing to collect. As of as of yeah, we're 100 in this game. This that that's what it is. We're gonna 100 this game. Oh yeah, I feel old now. So do I. It just is such a good looking game. It's like it does everything. It's like so simple. It's nothing like crazy. You know what I mean? Like. I, th these graphics have like really come They've really grown on me All right Another game I want to try playing is uh, I never played the original Super Mario RPG that game looks really fun So maybe eventually down the line, I'll I'll play that whenever I get to getting it But this has been the one I've been dying to play is this game. It's been a really, really, like, I still need to finish Baldur's. I didn't even finish Baldur's. Did a crazy year for games, let me tell you. Oh, is that something? What's in here? Sewing bait. Ugh. Not sewing bait. See, other things like glowing above it. I was wondering if I could grab it. Oh. What's up here? Let me come up here. All right. As for episodes, I think I'm gonna go long form for some, and then short. I think I'm gonna mix it up, give it like a variety. Like this will be the first episode. All this. So the first episode is gonna be really long, and then we'll just go. F we'll go from there. So we get to pick a bed, which wouldn't it be f hilarious if it mattered which bed you chose? Yeah, I'll go to sleep. Let's see what happens. It's probably gonna fast forward us back to the future. Well, not future, but present. The next morning in the training room. Oh no. Good morning, fellas. Fellas. Ergavs. So you'll be our trainer? I wish. Erlina and I are leaving tomorrow, but the headmaster was kind enough to let us make your first day special. Are you ready for training? You bet. That's what I like to hear. I reckon these should be well suited for the two of you. And me ain't got my train sword, and she got train staff. All right, let's get to work. Huh. 
You got this, Valerie. Don't give up now. Never. So many runnings. Come on, Zale. Keep up. Hey, I can do this. So much pan. 99, 100. That's it for today. You did great. Phew. That was a lot. Feel free to take a break. Carolina, we'll see you in the terrace whenever you're ready. Is that when we sew? All right, so I guess that's why this was here. Just to do... Just to do some training. So we gotta get a training. Which I'm assuming. Go this way. I don't want to go talk to Headmaster. So maybe... Carlina, should you be outside of the Academy's entrance? So... Right here? Okay, let's see. Oh, there you are. Ready to learn magic? Yeah, yes. It should feel as if something was scratching an itch far away from you. You must focus on the sensation and compel it to come closer. I think it's working. Hey, you startled me. I almost had it. Now mine's gone too. It's okay, just breathe slowly. Try to release only when you feel its current passing in front of you. If your timing is true, it will manifest. On three, one, two, three. I think I felt it. It tickles. Right, there. You just did the hardest part. I'm sure your training will go well, but one more thing. No matter what the headmaster teaches you, remember that this is your life. And... Berlina. So you are done onboarding our new recruits. In the ways of magic, I would provide the briefing for your next assignment. As for the two of you, it is about time you tried that sewing kit. Move along now. My, this man loves sewing. And making a magic piece of fabric worthy of the very stars sure is a tall order. Yeah, I have no idea what shape to even make. At least the headmaster said we wouldn't get it right the first time. Well, I'm bored. So now, we are going to go, can I read any of this stuff? Is this like, no, probably over here, just a bunch of books. So now, um, I think if we leave here, we're probably supposed to go to his chambers. If I had to take a wild stab in the dark, oh no. Yeah, you keep saying that, but the flesh pants are left our realm for good when the dweller of strife was destroyed. So why can't they have a normal life? And you know the three of us can take the one on Wraith Island. We don't need them. Prudence, Erlena. There is no telling what threats we may face in the future. Zale and Valerie were brought to the moon cradle by the great eagle. It is not the place of the headmaster to question such things, and neither is it yours. So how much is enough? What about Moyara? What about the twins? Brokovs, do not judge a sacrifice you cannot begin to comprehend. This conversation is over. They will study here while you carry on with your investigation. On the first eclipse, after their training is complete, they will join us for the cleansing. Learn as much as you can until then. But let's just go, Burgos. I'm saying his name right. <laughs>
Probably not Brogavs, Brogaves. And so they trained and they sewed for days and then for months. So swole. Faster now. Focus and then release. And the longer a dweller is left to its devices, the stronger it gets. This makes patrol duty essential. Let one grow for too long, and you have a world leader on your hands. Against such a foe, even a legion of solstice warriors would be helpless. Since delaying only increases the chances of a world eater, cleansings always target the strongest dweller known to us. Handmaster, if dwellers are immune to our magic, how can we fight them? Ah, that is why cleansings are always performed during a total eclipse. In these moments only, the dweller's weaknesses are exposed. How many dwellers are left? Just the one known as the Dweller of Woe. But we cannot know for sure. The Flesh Master just may have planted other seeds of evil before leaving our world. Thus, we must always remain vigilant. And Master. Yes, Zale. What happened with the Dweller of Strife? And who's Moira? That will be all for today. A few weeks later, a sound in the night. Oh boy, who's that? Zay, wake up. Uh, Valerie, what is it? I think I heard a voice coming from the entrance. What, what time is it? Who, who cares? Let's go, check it out. All, uh, all right. Go back up here. I didn't expect to do, like when it showed like a past thing. I didn't expect a full deep dive back to when they were little. That's an, I'm digging that. All right, so I guess we're gonna go back out here. Is my guess, or maybe? Uh, hey, look! Oh, smells good. There's a note. Dear Zell and Valerie, if you're reading this, it probably means I got caught. I'm writing this as a failsafe, but I hope to see you in person. I made cookies filled with celestial willow jam like you liked. Aw. Keep reading. I'm doing everything I can to be ready to leave when you graduate. In the meantime, I hope your training goes going well. Oops, now the platform is almost up. And I can see the Maureen is there, waiting for me. He looks very angry. I will try to drop the jar without him noticing. I guess that means I won't be able to try a visit again. But I'm thinking of you every day, and I can't wait. I hope you like the cookies. Your friend until the end of time. Carl. Carl's the best. Let's go up on the disc to eat the cookies. Got a cookie jar. Sweet. Look at that. Look at that scenery. These cookies are amazing. I can't believe Garl was just there. I miss him so much. He seems well at least after what happened in the Forbidden Cavern. And knowing him, I bet he smiled it away the next day. Yeah, you're probably right. We can't let something like this ever happen ever again. At this rate, it feels like we'll never sow something good enough for the Elder Mist. It will happen. We just have to keep training hard. And so they trained, and they sewed for years. And they trained, and they sewed some more. Until one day...
Yeah, that's the one. I can feel it too. Hold on. All right, I think I got it too. Let's go see the headmaster. All right, now we are older and everything looks the same. Face doesn't change. We're swole. So slow. Just got bigger right there. Let's go over here. So we're probably almost going back to present time. Headmaster, we think we're ready. Why, yes. The tingling of magic in the air has been building up for a few weeks now. Congratulations. Moving forward, there will be no more sewing. I can deal with that. It will soon be time for you to leave on your journey to meet the Elder Mist. Before we get to that, Zenith Academy has one more challenge for you. Oh, our visitors just arrived. Perfect timing. My, you've both grown pretty strong. Hey, it's good to see you. Berlina and Burgovs are here to help you review the basics of combat. Check in with them and then it'll be time for your final test. So I guess we're gonna do another fight right now, I'm, I'm assuming. Want to review combat basics? No need. Timing your hits and blocks are important. Are you sure you don't want to review this? Yeah, let's let's just do it. Um. So later on, I'm not like, what am I doing? Well, let's get started. Just attack me now in any order. Use DNA to cycle through available characters. Okay. Party members can use their turn order of your choice, but they can only act once per round. When all of your party members are in the cooldown, the round resets and they all become available again. Alright, so, alright, there we go. Um, heck. How do you, how do you guard? Good. Focus is paramount. Whenever you perform attacks and skills, with proper timing, you can increase the damage that you deal. And sometimes even score additional hits. Let's see it. Press space as it hit connects increased damages. All right. Um. Oh, there you go. That was too soon. Stay focused and press as it hit connects. Uh, so it's like, uh, uh, that was way too soon. I'm so bad. Uh, <laughs> All right, there you go. Good. Let's see that one more time. Ah. Uh, so great. Ah, oh, damn, that was too soon, too. Right, there we go. Ouch. Yeah, that's the gist of it. Most of your attacks and spells can be made more potent with proper timing. Some also keep going with more hits until you miss. And remember to think of timed hits as welcome addition when you pull it off, rather than something you're supposed to do perfectly all the time. So don't worry about it too much. Just keep on trying and your sense for it will develop over time. Okay, now for timing your blocks. Let's get the little guy in here. To be efficient in battle, you must pay attention to anything that starts moving. With proper timing, you can reduce the damage of any incoming attack or spell by block. Get ready. All right. Oh man, I, I messed that up. That was too soon to stay focused and also when it connects. I'm so great. <laughs> oh man, I think. So you gotta. Alright. It can be difficult sometimes. Here, let me help you. Now. I'm so great that it needs to help me. Good. Let's see that one more time. Alright, sweet. That's how you do it. Remember to always stay alert. Some patterns will be harder to read than others. Sometimes even require multiple blocks. But don't be too hard on yourself. No one is expected to block everything all the time. It's not about getting it perfectly all the time, rather building a growing sense for it. Just think of a time block as a welcome bonus whenever you happen to pull it off. The key is remembering to read your enemies and to keep trying. Oh, one more thing. 
game, I think, didn't... What? When a party member gets knocked out in battle, you'll need to switch to a more defensive mode. Chaos allies will get back up on their own at 50%. HP once all the Chaos Stars are gone. One Chaos Star is removed at the end of each round. The more you fall during the same battle, the more Chaos Stars there are, so be careful. If all party members go down, it's game over. Fight and survive until Valerie returns. Oh man, I should time that. Who knew? Blocked. Um. Yes, nice. Oh, I thought I, I thought I timed that one good too. And there you have it. Good work today. I'm sure the exam will be a breeze. Check in with them, and then it'll be time for your final test. Oh yeah, now we have to do magic with her. Ready to go through basics? Yes. When enemies prepare spells, you must do everything you can to prevent them. If you follow your senses, you can try dealing damage of the types that will break their concentration. Simpler spells will only demand normal attacks. Valerie can do blunt damage, and Zal has slicing. Let's see you break this one. All right, let's see what happens. All right. Nice. Oh, great. Just like that. Now some spells will also demand magic damage to break. You can control your projectiles now, so let's give it a shot. Zail for sun and Valerie for moon. Sunball. Such a sick move. Reminds me of Dragon Ball so so badly. Here's the boomerang. I haven't used her yet, so I don't know. All right. Oh, where's his go? I'm so great. Oh, that's awesome. The whole little mini game. Well done. Now you can sense your MP is a bit low, right? Try to keep up the pace in a battle. You must remember to regenerate MP. Let's build it back up a bit. Hit me with a normal attack now. Did you feel that? You just got some MP back by attacking. In battle, awareness leads to victory. You must pace your spells with normal attacks to avoid ending up in a dire situation with no MP available to get out of it. And on the flip side, you should not hesitate to use spells when MP is when MP abounds for regular attack on a full bar is a waste of regeneration. The key is to experiment. Keep on varying your actions and find the rhythm appropriate for each battle. One last thing. All battle actions, lock breaking, especially build your combo energy. When you have enough, you can spend combo points to perform powerful actions. Combos cost no MP and are lost after battle, so you should never hesitate to use them. Moraine told me you came up with your first combo attack. Show it to me. Oh, did we? Okay. Yo. Yeah, you're strong, all right. Keep an eye out on adventures. You're bound to come across scrolls that will teach you more combos. Good luck with the exam. I'm sure you'll do great. Moraine will see you to the final test. I'm sure you'll do great. I'm really loving this combat style. The fighting is insane. Are you ready for the final test then? We're ready. Then let us begin. big day has finally come. Over the years, Zenith Academy has tested you in many ways. It will now test you one last time. Have you prepared your vows? Yes, Headmaster. Then speak them now. You go first, Sal. Hmm, okay. <clears throat> so that I may use my agility to cleanse this world and protect my companions. I will enter the world as a blade dancer. I choose the curved blade as it will not hinder my speed or reflexes. 
Welcome, Blade Dancer. Come on, Valerie. I did it. Now it's your turn. Mm -mm. So that I may use my strength to inspire hope and eradicate evil, I will become a battle monk. I choose a staff for it. it won't break no matter how hard I strike. Welcome, battle monk. Today, you must demonstrate mastery of everything Zenith Academy has taught you. Your final challenge awaits below. Please step aside. <laughs> so I wonder if that's going to take us where we were. Oh, before I forget, here's a little something to keep your health full. Tomato clubs. Now, with faith in your abilities and purpose in your actions, take the leap and return as the new recruits of our order. I'm ready, Zal. Let's just go for it. Bam, bam. Oh, they're swimming too. Okay. All right, so they're not going that way. Uh, so something tells me over here. The space. Yep. So I'm jumping around. All right, so it's like a full little dungeon right here. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I, I see you, I see you, I see you. Cookie jar. Yeah, we ain't, we ain't got nothing that cookie jar. This ain't nothing. Uh, all right, we found our first item, actually. Ornament stone. So I don't think that... All right, so we're not... All right, go back this way. Either so we'll take down here. Uh, all right, so let's go back this way. Let's see what happens. Okay, now so there is something this way we have to do. What is that? Is the question. Hey man, what am I supposed to do? Come on, buddy. I have to make this lever again. Oh, I just jumped down. No, I don't want that. Oh, man. What am I supposed to do right now? I am... Oh, right here. No, that look... Is this thing supposed to go up, too? Because I think we're supposed to get up that way over there, no? Interesting. Is this an item right here? This little flashing thing? That might just be a light. I feel like... Like, I feel like we're supposed to get over there, but I don't see any other way of getting over there. So, and that takes us down here, but this doesn't take us anywhere. Maybe we're supposed to go left? No. Man, let me tell you. Hope you guys are enjoying the first episode. Smash that like button. And always remember to come a comment, help out the channel. And <clears throat> remember, I am struggling so hard right now. I have no clue. Like, I feel like straight ahead over there is where I'm supposed to go. But the only thing is, like, I don't know how to... Can I get over there just walking over here? But, like, like I feel like right there, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I started off so hot. I was, like, so on fire. And then, like, what's this? Oh, okay, you put that. All right, all right, all right. I get it now. Let's go. Let's fight. Let's go. Attack. That's right. Double combo. Oh, did I block it right? Probably not. Oh, that definitely did not do it right. Let's go. Double kit. No, I don't want healing ball. Let's 
go. So sick. Now we climb up here. Unless there's something in here. No? Climb up this little wall. And there's probably gonna be like a boss. Probably him. You guys think we fight him? I think maybe we fight him. He's waiting at the end. Alright, so we gotta get another item. Oh, to the rope. So sweet. Alright, we got the ornate stone. Oh! Alright, there's three of them. No problem. Definitely getting the hang of those double strikes. Oh, there we go. Block that one off. Oh, uh, did not block that one. That's bad. Block that one. Awesome. Let's go. Uh -huh, you cannot handle my style. Oh, I failed that one. Oh, I failed. I, I need to work on the have a healing thing I can use for her. Alright, so we're gonna do smash this enemy in an arc loner. I like this move a lot. Okay, so I guess I know where to go. Oh, I missed the double chance on it. Oh, I need like work on that. I love how there's no load scenes for it. It just jump right into battle. That's why I love Chrono, Chrono Trigger. Especially for its time and stuff. And like... I always found that like pretty sick. They didn't take you to a whole load screen. to the other side of the forbidden cavern yet. How could they understand? So you don't think we should at least try to explain? You've seen how strong they are, Wide. You will be a walk in the park. Let's see them off then. Exam mode engaged, brace yourselves. Alright, so now we gotta use a, t a physical attack. Alright, let's do it. Nice. Oh, I get timing right on him. His weakness is the sun. Alright, so I can hit him with my sun ball. That's right. You just like burnt him up. Alright, I'm repelling him good. Right. So I can do her move. Boomerang! I messed that one up. <laughs> uh, that. Alright. Uh, got a double on him. That's right, repelled you, big robot. You're nothing. Alright, so now we can wail on him. Yo, we just murdered that thing. Like, I just look like I was so good at this game. I didn't notice. It didn't give you a hard difficulty. Oh, so that's... Oh, man, that's awesome. Pick a bonus stat. All right, we're going to do... I feel like she's more physical than he is. So I feel like for him, he should be more... I feel like him... Let's do... Magic attack. 
And then with her, I'm gonna do physical attack. Congratulations, you have been trained well. Return now to your headmaster. That's right. You stood no chance. Congratulations, Zell and Valerie. Congratulations, Zell and Valerie. You have learned everything Zenith Academy had to teach you. We did it. In record time, too. You must now learn of our ultimate power, the ability to use magic without using magic. But that knowledge is for the Elder Mist to impart. Come, the villagers have gathered to celebrate your departure. on special days such as this one that the citizens of Moon Cradle are reminded of importance of their duties. Where's Garl? I don't see him. Many years ago, Zal and Valerie were delivered to us by the Great Eagle. Deliveries on two solstices in a row to boot. Very rare occurrence. Oh, I remember Grand was so happy to meet two more before she passed. I miss Grand. All of you have come together to nurture and protect them, just like your ancestors have done for so many children of the Salsas before. Zale and Valerie, step forward so that the good people of Moon Cradle might gaze upon those who will soon join the ranks of the Salsas warriors. This parting is ridiculous. All of the villagers having their fun, it's all they get. So you're okay with this now? You know I'm not. Now cheer with me as we send these young heroes to across the Forbidden Cavern to meet the Elder Mist. Hooray! To the gate! What do we do? I want to see Girl before leaving. I guess we have to play along for now. Fingers crossed that we can come back after meeting this Elder Mist. Fingers and toes. Zell, Valerie, you must undertake this journey on your own now. We will not fail, Headmaster. Go now through the Forbidden Cavern and atop the Mound Trail to seek audience with the Elder Mist. Learn how to use magic without using magic, and you shall. Then enter the world as true Solstice Warriors. May Luna's might protect you. May Solon's light guide you. Here, this should keep you fed for a little bit. And if your adventure feels a little tough, you can take a look at these. Sequel player, you just received you received your first two relics. Find them in the relics selection of the game menu, accessible with tab to adjust your experience. Whether you prefer a lighter challenge or looking to push yourself, the max relics offer a range of options. It's bound to mortify. Oh, that's all right. Remember, remember to keep an eye out for merchants. Selling any valuables you find will keep you well fed and well equipped. Now, wherever your adventures take you, you must remember your first assignment. After the Elder Mist sends you onto the world, you must secure passage to the Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. And do keep on trading, for a dire cleansing awaits us. I still can't believe he wants them to find a dweller already. That's Moraine for you. We weren't much older the first time. Yeah, but we'll find a way. Save journeys and may you cleanse this world. And they all scream collectively as we have to go back and grab that treasure chest right there. So now I wonder, are we caught up? See, this right here is very, very reminding of Chrono Trigger. All right, let's save right here. 
Oh, hello. Sure feels easier now. This time we make it through. So this is like a bump that connects to that. All right. Up there, no. All right. So physical attack on this guy. Let's go. Ah, oh, screwed. I messed that one up. Oh. I think I blocked that one. Oh, spike shower. Oh, all right. I see you, I see you, I see you, I see you. Let's see, moon ring on him. Messed up. Okay, one more. Eesh. Got some gold. Let's go. All right, so climb this thing. Yep. We can't get that far up, so we gotta go here. Oh, all right, all right, all right. So we gotta go. So can I control? So I wonder, is it possible to keep one? Or they always travel together? I it didn't say. Let's see what happens. Okay, I'll do is that. All right. No. All right. So that's the beginning. So we're up here now. Okay. Okay. I didn't even notice climbing that. Okay. Oh, there's your right there. Adventurer's vest. What does the menu look like? So we have trading sword, and I guess we got this vest now. Let's give it to him. As a tab, um, equip. What does she have? Oh, she has that. Oh, we gotta fight these guys. I don't know. So you cannot. So you can run up, run from them, I guess. So we'll do. Him down to bed. She's not healed. Oh, no. Alright, so. These things are a pain. Alright, you know. I've had about enough of you guys. I gotta get hit by a sunball. Oh, double tap. Oh, nice. I need to heal up after this. Oh, what's that? What's this thing? Oh, tomato. All right, so I need to heal. So items. So can I do healing? What to restore these food? So I can't use that though. No. Story to them. Max HP 100% auto heal after combat. Oh, you could turn these off and turn them on. That is insane. That's awesome. So, max auto heal after combat. No, we're not going to do that. Secret flare. Successfully timing hits and blocking causes a star flare to fly out of the character for a clear as day. 
confirmation that the April is properly timed, recommended for those preferring stronger feedback, all while closing in on the master certain moves. Practitions metal, enemies have 60% damage resistance while casting locks, increasing player damage taken by 30%. Items snacks can be used in combat, campfires recover HP. Oh, so that's a hard one right there. Leave in the comments below which one you, if you guys want me to use these, I'm gonna have them all for now. Maybe we'll get more. But as of right now, we're just gonna play the way it is. I don't wanna add this one. This one seems like a little too crazy. We'll just keep it as. But leave in the comments below. He smashed that light bang, bruh. Alright, we got enough of that. Hit this. Did that do anything? Oh, uh, there's something. In. I think it has something to do with that key slot. It's locked. Maybe the key is in the chest just up there. It's out of reach for now. Let's look around. Alright, so we gotta get up there. Can we get up there anyway? Probably not. So, I don't know. This one's a stumper. That looks like a heavy climb, no? Hmm. Oh, right here. That's all that. So I don't understand why did I do that. So smart. So many many current key. I'm so smart. I'm like so great. If there's one thing about Cornelius you must know is he's great at puzzles. So great at puzzles. And that is a joke. I am awful. Yo, what is this? Zale and Valor are learned combo skill, mending light. Oh, nice. Mushroom soup. Oh, wait, oh. Almost missed that thing in the corner. Shiny pearl, nice. Probably something we can sell. up here I think oh no I don't know if we want to go back oh yeah I don't know if I'm ready to go that far yet because I want to get that box over there but how do we get that box can we get that box yet So, all right here. The rope just breaks. Gotta redo the whole thing. Found leeching thorn. Nice. All right, climb all the way down. So now we gotta fight these guys. I think this is the beginning again. No, this is not the beginning. It's a little bit harder when you have different angles and oh no. Done. Let's get it. The device is broken. We can't activate the bridge. There seems to be a detour through there to the left. Worth a shot. All right. Through here. Oh, safe one right there. Let's go. 
Damn, there's a campfire spot here. We should rest a little bit. Heal up while we can. Um, did not. Yeah, uh, let's go. Let's rest. Nice. 